general ledger a general ledger contains all the accounts for recording transactions which is related to a company's assets liabilities owners equity revenue as well as the expenses this is just a definition but you will understand more when you go along this course okay so this is the general format of this general ledger it has got date journal folio particulars as well as amount we will have the two columns just like this one is for the credit and another is for debit for each account we need to create each general ledger account yes that means if you remember the examples which we have discussed in the previous video we will have the separate general ledger accounts for the rent account salary account purchasing account as well as the bank account too i know this sounds a bit confusing if you are hearing for the first time so let me first show you by entering the journal entries in the separate respective gl accounts for the each business transactions which we completed in the previous exercise yes we will do that now for the purpose of showing you in this video what i have done is i have already created a separate gl accounts for each of the accounts which we will require you will find the same excel sheet as an attachment of this video for your reference so guys don't worry just go and refer to it okay so guys let's look at the first example that is cash bought in by the owner proprietor as the capital of $6000 on 1st of october 2017 what is it cash bought cash bought in by owner or proprietor as the capital of $6000 on 1st of october 2017 so the journal entry here is cash account debit of 6000 and the proprietor's capital account credit is $6000 in the gl account entry for the cash account how it is debited yes in the gl account entry for the cash account how it is debited that is by proprietor's capital account how it is by proprietor's capital account so what i what we will do is we will just add an entry for the cash account debit for the $6000 on the debit side that is left side similarly we also add an entry under the proprietor's capital credit from the cash account on the right side guys also make sure that you are entering the transaction date because it always creates a confusion if you don't enter the transaction date so to avoid the confusion make sure you will be entering the transaction date as well okay yes guys we have got this journal folio which we can ignore as of now because we do not require for our present learning activity and it is just optional okay so moving on to next example that is goods purchased on credit from john for the 200 dollars that is on 2nd of october 2017 so here the journal entry will be like this that is purchase account debit is $200 and the john account credit is $200 so guys to make the respective entries in the gl accounts what we have to do is we have to just do like this that is i am now entering the amount 200 on the purchasing account debit side and 200 amount on john account credit side Now please follow the same process for the remaining examples and maintain the entries. yes finally it will look like this each and every credit and debit will be maintained on the respective accounts now we have seen all the entries for the month of october but if we want to close the accounts for the month of october period and open the new period for the november then all the accounts should be balanced yes all the accounts should be balanced that means the credits and the debits should be equal before closing so guys let's see how we can do this here let's take the cash account now 
that is we have got four entries on the debit side and got four entries on the credit side so guys first let's take the total of each column what you have to do the first step is to take the total of each column on the debit side we have the total of 7300 and on the credit side we have the total of 4100 that means there is a difference of 3200 as I said already, to close any period for any account, all the credits and debits must be equal. So, in this case, we will add an entry to the balance carried down of 3200 on the credit side as it is having 3200 as difference. I repeat, in this case, what I'll do is I will just add an entry to balance the carry down that is 3200 on the credit side as it is having 3200 as difference. So now, if you see both the credit and the debit amount matching after adding the entry, correct, right? So now, we can close the cash account for the period of October. Yes, we can wholeheartedly close the cash account for the period of October. And then in the next month, for the starting of month, what I'll do is, I'll just transfer the balanced amount on the debit side and update it from the balance brought down 3200. What I did, I'll just transfer the balanced amount on the debit side and update from the balance brought down 3200. Got it? So guys, I hope you now understood how we close any period in accounting. In SAP or in any accounting softwares, the program or the software will do all this work and provide you the report. Yes, in SAP or in any accounting softwares, the program or the software will do all the work and just provide you the report. So that at the end of the month or the period closing, we will know which side is more, whether it is a debit side or the credit side. And from there, we will prepare the trial balance. So guys. Now it is our work to prepare the trial balance for the GL accounts which we just prepared. Are you ready for that? Yes.